In this video, I will be ranking all the middle stage evolutions by their designs. Starting off first, we have Ivysaur. I think Ivysaur has a very good design. The colors go together well and the overall design looks nice. The blooming flower looks really cool and I like that it has a more serious demeanor. Overall, I think it's a very good design and probably one of the better middle stage evolutions, so I'm gonna put it in A tier. Up next we have Wartortle. I think Wartortle has a very good design, it's definitely one of the better middle stage evolutions. The different shades of blue look nice together and I also like its tail and ears. I feel like most middle stage Pokemon don't stand alone as individual Pokemon that well, but I do think Wartortle is one of those Pokemon where if it didn't have the other evolutions it would still be a very good design. I will put Wartortle in S tier because I like it more than most middle stage evolutions and even among the ones I think have good designs, I think it looks better than them. Next up we have Charmeleon. I don't really like Charmeleon's design. I feel like it's pretty average for a middle stage evolution. It falls into that awkward middle stage category that most Pokemon do. The whole design to me just looks kind of fugly. I also don't really like the red color. I think I'll put Charmeleon in C tier because I don't really like it. I think most people would agree that the middle stage evolutions generally look the worst, so a lot of Pokemon probably won't rank that high in this video. Now on to Generation 2. Starting off first, we have Bayleaf. I like Bayleaf's design. It's simple, but it doesn't fall into that awkward middle stage like I mentioned before. I think the leaf on its head looks good as well as the buds on its neck. I also like how the overall design is based off of a dinosaur. The colors look okay too, I don't really feel like they add or take away from the design. Overall I think it's a solid design so I'm gonna put it in B tier. Next up we have Quilava. I think Quilava has a very good design and is probably one of the best middle stage evolutions. I think the fire looks cool and I like how the blue color contrasts with it. The red and tan colors look good as well. I think it has a unique and interesting design and is one of the best middle stage evolutions so I'm going to put it in S tier. Up next we have Croconaw. I think Croconaw is another one of those Pokemon that has an awkward middle stage but there are some things I like about its design. For instance, I like the blue and yellow colors and I like the color pattern makes it look like Flintstone Caveman attire. Overall, I think it's a good design even if it does fall into that awkward middle stage so I'm gonna put it in B tier above Bayleaf. Moving on to generation 3, first up we have Grovile. Grovile is probably one of the only middle stage evolutions I like more than both its first stage and final stage evolutions. I think the leaves it has in this evolution makes it look a lot less bare and I also like this shade of green. It's a lot better than its base form color. I think it's a very good design and probably the best middle stage grass evolution so I'm gonna put it in S tier. Next up we have Marsh Tomb. I think Marsh Tomb has a pretty good design. It kind of falls into that awkward middle stage but it has an overall derpy design so that works well. It looks like it was designed to look like that on purpose while other middle stage evolutions just look awkward because they are trying to convey the growth between the first stage and the final stage. I really like the complementary blue and orange colors used in its design. I think it has a very good design so I'm gonna put it in A tier. Up next we have Combuskin. I don't really like Combuskin's design. I dislike the overall shape for uh, reasons. But I like the feet and the claws and I think the colors look okay. Now on to generation 4. Starting off first we have Grottle. I feel like Grottle has a pretty solid design. It can function as a standalone Pokemon and conveys the progress between Turtwig and Torterra pretty well. I think the bushes on its back are a cool feature and the different earthy colors go together nicely. I think it has a good design but I don't think it's quite A tier material so I'm gonna put it in B. Next up we have Prinplup. I don't really like Prinplup's design. It's definitely my least favorite out of its evolution line. I think it's a very good example of the awkward middle stage. It feels like this design was made only to convey the growth from Piplup to Empoleon. The colors look okay, but the overall design is just kind of ugly. I don't really like this design, so I'm gonna put it in D tier. Moving on, we have Monferno. I think Monferno has a good design. I usually don't like monkey designs, but I think this one looks good. Maybe not great, but I still like it overall. I like the colors on its face as well as the white tuft around its neck. The yellow bands on its arms looks cool, and I like the fire on its tail. Overall, I think it's a good design, but there are definitely designs I like more, so I'm gonna put it in B tier below Croconaw. Now on to Generation 5. Starting off first, we have Servine. Servine is a good example of a middle stage Pokemon conveying the growth from the first stage to the final stage in an aesthetically pleasing way. Servine looks very similar to Snivy, just with more features added on. 
such as the extra leaves on its back, the shape of its head, and its collar getting bigger. I like the overall look of the Pokemon, and the colors look nice. I think it's a very good design for a middle stage evolution, so I'm gonna put it in A tier, below Marshtoon. Next up we have Duat. I like Duat's design and think it's one of the better middle stage evolutions. Its overall design looks cool, and you can see its personality through its design. The different shades of blue look good together, and the features look cool as well, such as the shells, whiskers, and the fin. Overall, I think it's a very good design, so I'm gonna put it in A tier, above Marshtoon. Up next we have Pignite. I feel like Pignite's design is a good baseline for what makes a good design for a middle stage evolution. It clearly shows the progress from Tepig to Embor and it looks cool as well. I really like the black and gold colors which is one of my favorite color schemes. The orange color also looks nice with the black and gold. Since I think this is a good baseline for a middle stage evolution, I'm gonna put it in the bottom of B tier. Up next is Generation 6, and starting off first we have Quilladin. I don't really like Quilladin's design. The whole thing just looks kind of ugly to me. I don't like the shape of it and I don't like the color scheme. I don't like this design so I'm gonna put it in D tier, but I'm gonna put it above Primplup because I do think its design is better. Now on to Frogadier. I feel like Frogadier has a pretty good design. It shows the growth from Froki to Greninja really well. I like the color scheme with the light blue and dark blue for the body, the white for the scarf, and the yellow for the eyes. I also think the scarf looks cool. Overall, I think it's a pretty good design, so I'm gonna put it in A tier above Duat. Next up we have Brakeson. I think Brakeson has a good design. It functions well as a middle stage evolution between Finnegan and Delphox. I like the overall witch design and I like the color scheme with the yellow, orange, and white as well. I like Brakeson's design but not as much as the ones in A tier so I'm gonna put it at the top of B tier. Moving on to Generation 7, and starting off first, we have Dartrix. I think Dartrix falls into that same kind of category as Pignite, where it clearly conveys the progress from the first stage to the final stage while being a good baseline design. I like the owl design, and I think its features look good such as the bow tie and the leaves on its wing and around its head. I don't really like the colors though. I've never really liked earthy colors that much, but I still think it's a good design. Since I think it is in the same category as Pignite, I'm gonna put it in B tier underneath it because I do like Pignite. Night better. Next up we have Brione. I'm not a huge fan of this design. I think the nose and ears look bad, but I do like the blue and white color scheme and the frills. I feel like this design is underwhelming overall, so I'm gonna put it in C tier above Combuskin. Up next we have Toracat. I think Toracat has a good design. It shows the growth from the first stage very well. However, I don't think it's the best design to convey the growth from Litten to Incineroar mainly because Toracat's design makes it look like they were gonna do something different with Incineroar's design. This video is only judging the middle stage evolutions though, so I won't count that against Toracat when ranking its design. It just bothers me a little, so I wanted to mention it. I like Toracat's orange and black color scheme, and I think the fur on its face, as well as the fire bell on its neck, looks cool. I think it has a pretty cool design, so I'm gonna put it in A tier above Marshtoon. Now on to Generation 8. Starting off first we have Thwacky. I don't really like Thwacky's design. The whole design just looks bad to me. I don't like the monkey's design and I also don't like how it's really slim at the bottom and wider at the top. The colors look bad to me as well. I'm gonna put Thwacky in F tier because I don't like its design. There aren't many Pokemon that I actively dislike, but I don't like Thwacky. Next up we have Drizzile, the lizard that looks like it shops at Hot Topic. Drizzile has an okay design. I don't really like or dislike this design. I'm not a huge fan of the colors and the design itself just looks kind of meh. I don't really like or dislike this design so I'm gonna put it at the top of C tier. Moving on to Reboot, I think Reboot has the best design out of its evolution line. I like the jacket design it has and I think it looks cool how it's covering up its mouth. I also like the black and orange colors and the more serious expression. I think it's a good design, so I'm gonna put it in A tier above Toracat. Finally on to Generation 9, and starting off first we have Florigato. I like Florigato's design. It's a good middle stage evolution for its evolution line. I think the different shades of green look good together, and I like the pink eyes. I also like that it's based off of a cat. You may have noticed I have run out of Pokemon. That's because I did not see if this tier list had the current starter, so from here on I will be editing the rest in. I think Florigato has a really good design, so I will put it in A tier above Duat. 
Next up, we have Quaxwell. I really don't like Quaxwell's design. It is my least favorite design out of its evolution line. The design just looks kind of ugly to me, but I do think it does a good job at conveying the growth between Quaxley and Quaquavel. I also like the colors, I just don't like the way it looks. I'm going to put it in E tier because I don't like it, but the colors put it above Thwacky. And finally, we have Crocolor. I really like Crocolor's design mainly because of how good it acts as a middle stage Pokemon. I really like the nest with the egg on its head and the fact that it looks like a sombrero because the region it was introduced in was based off of Spain. The body and the face look kind of derpy, but I think the colors look good. I think it has a good design, so I will put it in A tier, but at the bottom just because of how derpy the body looks. If you enjoyed this video, check out the video where I ranked all the base starter evolutions, and have a good day.